back for RSF1. Sorry about the half an hour delay. Obviously, Primus had a an unfortunate event which he doesn't want to stream, which is very fine. Luckily, I managed to step in. We did miss Q2, but we're in the final runs of Q3 now. Ethan, tell us what happened in the first runs of Q3, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, it seems like. Look, he's. Well, I wasn't really paying attention to be fair because I've been sat here myself for the past half an hour. So, I wasn't really paying much attention, but it looks like Lucky is top of the session right now. But Stevage is currently 100th in his time in third place with Adam R split in the two in second. Yeah, obviously, we have that championship decided tonight, so it should be a good one. Steerage versus Muddy Biscuit. We expect some close racing tonight, I hope. Yeah, and I've also got another thing as well. If Alpha outscore Mercedes by 21 points tonight, they win the overall constructors as well. Do we have any Alpha boys here tonight? Yeah, both get knocked out in Q2. Oh. Wait, who are they driving to go? I forgot. Um, Eights in Milan. Oh, yeah. Um, Eights is third in the championship, I believe. So, uh,. He'll be fighting hard. Anyway, Steerage is back to finish his second one in Q3. I don't know about the tie wear on this track he's done. Can you go for multiple ones at the end of Q3? I don't think so, no. They struggle in race trim a lot, so I'd imagine not. Steerage will be the first one to complete his final one, so let's go on board of him as we go through the penultimate corner now with Mr. Steerage, the championship leader, hoping to win the championship tonight. Around the final corner, he comes where will he put himself for the race oh, oh he's on pole I adam's a tenth up in the first sector alone next muddy muddy bis here we go three temps you need a bit more than that to get on the pole let's see what mr muddy bis can, can do not got a penalty all season so where will he put himself all fourth up? will he go again is the question does he have the fuel in the tank? That's an, that's another thing I forgot to point out. Stevage and I think Stevage and Adam are both on the alternate strategy as well. That's one thing I picked out. Last week, race winner, O'Hardy, coming across the line. What's gonna be? <gasps> what? Oh my god! Three milliseconds! <laughs> I believe it's a Red Bull Venom. It's my slime. Going for one. Oh, it'll be his teammate next. Just a tenth down. Let's see what he can do. Needs a bit more time in the last sector. Here comes Hudson. Oh, fifth. Adam. Oh, Adam's four tenths up. He's going to blitz this. Oh, <laughs> thirty-three-one. You are oh, different oh. gravy, sir. Take a bow, Adam. Muddy's invalidated, Magic Mark's on a lap currently, same with Brutal Reapers, but it'll be k next one to cross the line on a time lap. Always went very deep there. Yeah, but just in the way Always oh, oh, had to turn out the corner a bit there because he turned in a bit too early. Not set a lap yet, where will he start? Reveno? Sixth at Six. best. Who's that behind? Magic Mark. Guess Second. What? Well, what? Muddy's best eight here. Lukey's invalidate. Oh, Brutal oh, Reapers yeah, and invalidate penultimate corner. Oh, uh, that's it. That's Q3 over. Oh. Wow. May have missed the first half of Q3, but that was exciting. Hello, Mr. Toto. You want to get Adam in for a party invite? I mean, get him a party invite, he's done. <laughs> that is, that's ridiculous. Q2. He's just different gravy. I, 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 I spoke to him before the race and he said if you get Paul, I don't think he wanted a party invite, so. Oh, I want to come shot on the race. Fair play. <laughs> There is your grid. Well, oh, there is your top ten. We have Adam and Mercedes on pole ahead of Magic Mark, who will be trying to help his teammate Woody Biscuit secure that F2 championship in second. 
the championship lead off Steerage in third with last week's race winner Ohadi in fourth Lukey is in fifth Hudson in sixth k Mag in seventh Muddy Biscuit though down there would like in eighth Benham in ninth and Brutal Reapers didn't set a lap he's in tenth okay so we missed Q3, Ethan. Is there anyone that's starting on the mediums in Q3? I believe it's the anyone. I think it's Adam, Steerage, and O'Hardy, the ones I saw. I can't remember if there's anyone else, and obviously, if Alpha do outscore Mercedes by 21 points tonight, they won the overall constructors with still four races to go this week. But yeah, the top four on the mediums, that will make an interesting start. Oh yeah, I know last game it was, it was a two-stop, but I don't know about this game. I think a one-stop is the go-to strategy, I think. You don't need practice, Easton? I know you're a practice guy. <laughs> no. Not really, I've been practicing much. I've just been focusing on no assessor and different tracks, obviously, because at the end of the season I've already won the championship, so I've got nothing really to play for. Oh, you going to assist next season as well, Easton? Yeah, nothing. Just for something what, to do. What, even no line? Yeah. Ooh, that'll be a challenge. Let's see how you do next season. So I've learned two tracks so far. I'm not very quick at them, but I know where to break for them. What are they? I think it is. Probably Austria. Nah, Spain and Brazil. Ooh. Austria's one of the, the ones you always get to, you know... No, the assists are. That's interesting. You're going for a technical track with Brazil. I'll give you that. It was just because I had, uh, obviously, Marcel on on Wednesday, then I had another league game on Saturday, so I just thought I made them get out of the way. Right, Mr. Michaels, I believe, is a lobby host. I didn't see because I had to get in as soon as possible. Yeah. So, two championships up for grabs. The drivers and the overall constructors, like you said. I bet Mr. Total Wolf will be cheering on the Alpha Boys tonight. I'm not Oh, no one's starting on the hards. Interesting. <laughs> Vision is 18. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, uh, we're in a transition period now. So, uh, we just wait. What are your predictions for the race, Easton? What's going to happen? <laughs> turn 1 chaos, maybe? No, I don't think it'll be turn 1, to be fair. I think it'll be that turn 2 and 3 section. Obviously, very easy to lose on warm tyres. And especially cold tyres as well. Yeah, I saw uh, last season. Loads of people did it last season. So, uh, it'll be one to watch. Yeah, I, obviously, when the start of Q1, when... The, the stream is up a lot, this so uh, it's Isas lose it at turn 3, just getting on the curb, oh, yeah. the tiniest little bit. Oh. oh, okay. How is everyone in the chat doing? Oh, Mr. Toto. Alpha outscore Mercedes by 20 points. They see the overall constructors. Yes, they do. I know you'll be having a smile on your face if you get that championship again. I guarantee it. Will anyone dethrone Alpha next season? Who knows? Does anyone switch fighters up for a look? We have two. Ice and Draco on the sauce outside the top 10 and then you've got three medium runners in the top 10 with Magic Mark in second on the sauce I think his strategy will be get in front pull the pack up wait for Muddy Biscuit to get past Sturge really I think that's what Magic Mark's tactic will be today So Easton, do you want to do, uh, do the formation lap or do you want me to do it? Oh, um, yeah, I'll do it. Go level formation work. Oh, okay. This is a long transition period, I must say. 
Mr. Michaels, I want S. Michaels ready up. Um, What's going on? There we go. Okay, here we go for the formation map. You take it away, Easton. So, uh, starting at the rear, what, wait, Stedgen's 18. Who's in Q2? Oh, well, so starting at the back, Stedgen and the Renault. <laughs> Stedgen, <laughs> so Stedgen lines up P18 and he's Renault caught in the medium tyres. Moving at the 17th, have KTS Dra Draco and the Ferrari. Crashed in Q1, unfortunately, in the middle sector somewhere. Lines up P17 in the Ferrari and the softs. Into 163 go is it's Asus 5522 in the racing point on the medium compound tyres in 16th and a cheeky little spin. 23. Let's hope he doesn't do it again. Mr. Michael, RF, RF1S Michael lines up P15 in the Williams on the medium compound tyres. And P14 we have Peachy Pig. And the Ferrari on the medium compound tyres. At the 13th we have the first of the Alpha Boys, FFR Milan, lines up 13th in the Alpha on the medium tyres. P12 is busy, 7272 in the Tango car, lines up in P12 on the mediums. P11, RSF18 in the Alpha Romeo on the medium tyres. And to the top 10 we go, lucky 1210. Lines up in P10 on the soft compound tires on his Alpha Tari. P9, first of the alternate strategy guys, it's Brutal Reapers, in the racing point on the mediums, and then Sink Venom, a teammate of mine, and he's lines up in the Red Bull, in P8 on the soft. Championship contender, Muddy Biscuit, lines up 7th in the Haas, in the soft. K Mag must have had a spin somewhere, he's out the back. Lines up 6th in Renault on soft tyres. J Jardin 11 and the Red Bull lines up 5th in the soft, followed by O'Hardy in the Mercedes on the medium tyres. Then the other championship rival, Steerage 97 in the McLaren on the medium compound tyres. On the front we roll, we go with Magic Marks in the Haas on the soft compound tyres and on pole positions Adamar 2396. Yeah, thank you Easton. Obviously I've not seen ages guys so bear with me, I will won't be as quick as I used to be, so anyway anyway, um yeah let's get ready for the lights up. Here we go. You can do a start lights. Give me about there we go. One, two, three, four, five it's the lights out and away we go. Oh, Magic Mark doesn't, he gets alongside. Oh, he's jumping in a bit, but never mind. Steerage. Oh, he's going side by side with the other Mercedes. Oh, Hardy. Magic Mark gets ahead. We have Red Bull going off. The Haas and Renault going side by side. Oh, oh there's Fran. Oh. oh, no. Oh, don't go side by Don't, no, not for you. Please, please oh, don't um, do it to the, me. The fries have just crashed into each other. Oh, no. Oh, oh, they have as well. That's a dangerous re-entry from Peachy Pig there. But whoever the fry team principal is, they'll probably get slight oh, tackled. Oh, oh, Venom, I just, I think Venom's lost something there. What is happening down here then, gents? <laughs> what is going back on down here? Back anyway. We're three way deal, oh, dear. Oh, guys, Mike guys, guys. From Adam, from O'Hardy, from Steerage. With Hudson on the back of Steerage, not close enough. Neighbours, P Mag. Lucas already got a penalty. Going side by side with Mr. Brutal Reapers. There we go. 
medium, medium, soft, me oh, okay. oh, oh. Single file through the third set, there we go. Get back to the front. The top seven are pulled away. I think it's a series. David's just not on pace. Yeah, he's struggling in the mediums, it looks like maybe he didn't get enough warm up on them. Yeah, it looks like he seems to be struggling because he's got JJ Hudson right up his backside along with K Mag and Muddy Biscuit. But yeah, looks JJ Hudson on, on back of steerage, here we go. Breezy in, stedging both into the pits. I wonder if they're slapping a set of hearts. Yeah, set of hearts for steerage. No, not steerage. Stedging in the looks like set of medium, so breezy. They might be able to go to the end, I'm not sure though. Let's see how, how he does on them hearts. Magic Mark's Magic already Mark. burnt his ERS. Chisel. Oh yes, zero percent. Wait, has he got overtake stuck on? I think he's got the overtake glitch. Yeah, he's not turning it off. Adam's just cruising with a full battery. The hard is behind. Stevie has also got the Stavage. overtake glitch. Oh my god. That's why he's struggling. Because Stevie oh obviously god. runs no assists. Oh, he must have passed those bollocks, yeah. <laughs> it's... Aiza... Iza. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> Got a few seconds of time penalty already. Where did I get put on? I'm such an empty. Where did you win? More penalty. Looks like K-Mag is now on the page. There we go. He's went a bit deep in the last corner, this could invite Ooh. Muddy Biscuit. Ooh, a bit of a wobble there. Here we go, Muddy Biscuit. Ooh. Okay, mag fight this. No, I'm gonna get switched back, he couldn't quite do it. Okay, mag. He gets it. This could have cost Muddy here because he could have dropped out the DRS range here. Unless he has a very good couple of corners. And it looks like he's out of the DRS for this yeah. straight. He needs a good exit, let's see. He needs to burn the ERS as well, and he's sold. Came like a kipper. Look, he's got no ERS. He's not got the overtake glitch. Here comes Milan on Venom. Oh, that was tight. And then we've got Balbound. Both Alphas make a move. Eight sent it out with Milan into the point. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, gone off track. There we go, Mr. Ites. Oh, getting close to comfort there. Venom's lost two positions, and Michaels is now behind, looking to sniff that 12th place. Magic. A full wide train here. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing Muddy's right out of the DRS range now. Oh, yellow flag, someone's went round somewhere. And we've got a spinner. Oh, it's, oh, Venom. oh there we go. Oh, 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 side by side, facing point in Venom. Oh, oh. That like was, was close to comfort. It looks like it was looking at dead go round because he was up behind Muddy, but now he's down in 11th and then contact between the two. Venom and Lucky isn't going well. Adam's all over. Magic Mark, here we go. Yes, Steve was getting no ERS. <laughs> He's stuck on zero percent. Oh, I feel for Magic Mark and Steerage. What does DOS look like? Full back chase. <laughs> oh, here we go. He's all over the backs. He's gonna get him here. Yep, gonna look around yeah. the outside. Why so hard in all this? Just not close enough. Magic Mark will pick the ERS back up. We have a. Do they have enough grip? Ooh. Lock up Madam. What? What Muddy needs to get back within this train is, is Stevie, that's a lot to fight because he still needs another 7 tenths and they're just going to continue pulling because of these two back-to-back -back straights. 
what he ain't catching, which is interesting. I think it's a DRS, it's not opening. Yeah, it's, it's not good with this track either, because obviously with the back to back straights. We've got both Alpha Boys together, I'm so Toto Wolf won't be happy. <laughs> I think Alex is looking the quick of the two drivers at the moment. Yeah, I wonder if there'll be team orders here. Purely because yeah. Alpha could win the overall constructors tonight. It has to be. Alex looks so much quicker. Okay, man, got a wobble. There comes Luki. Let's get rid of him. I'm going down. Oh, he's just let Luki pass. Okay. But we just has pulled out the DRS zone so he can go on his business. Woody Biscuit, he's almost. Adam's out of DRS, DRS now. This is Adam's yeah, race to lose, basically. Here comes old Hardy. It could be a Mercedes 1 2 in a minute, and it will be. Imagine Mark's got no defence because he's no ERS. So it's a Mercedes 1 2. One thing Magic Mark can smile about now is that you know Steerage has got the OS grip, so it's an even battle. I don't think he will, well, to be fair, because I don't think he'll have the stream on unless he's got a race engineer. Yeah, I think it's always up to Toto. Smart plan, smart plan. Yeah, they're both on the same strategy, so no point really switching his. Uh... I suppose Muddy's sort of like had to firm the idea, so he's had to use a bit more ERS to get somewhat closer to the train. Obviously now because Magic Mark's holding up the train, because he's got no ERS and he's sort of starting to burn away. Muddy Biscuit will start to catch up and he's got clean air as well to help him out. Oh, who's that diving in? If anyone. No, that was just my eyes playing tricks on me. It's not the first time I've seen a Mercedes 1-2 in this league. I've seen enough of it, <laughs> if I'm quite honest. Just like IRL. Anyway, <laughs> Steerage. <laughs> oh, Magic Mark. I think I'm supposed to die now for Mr. Magic Mark. I think he's going to try and hold Steerage at bay for as long as possible to help his teammate. And that's Murray's only chance, really. <laughs> he's captain penalty tonight. Michael's hasn't got one. Wow. <laughs> You've done them dirty there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael, if you're watching this back. <laughs> Both Mercedes are pulled out with DRS range now. Magic Mark. It hasn't gone well. What he needs to do an undercut early, getting his DRS. The issue is, here for stage, you can't get past Magic Mark unless he gets very close. Because he can't use his ERS. Help him, because he's got none. He's got some ERS up there, isn't he? Okay. So Steers needs to get a move on, really. <laughs> the Mercedes have walked off now. I suppose Mad Mark gains on these like, type of straights here. They just lose it all in the middle set, this last sector, because it's so technical. That's the word we'll say. Either they got the ERS glitch, or they just forgot to turn it off. Oh, my, oh, there we go, Magic Mark's put off. Oh, no, we had off for a brief second. There you go, he's turned off now. No, it's back on again. Oh, he, he just kept, well, there we go. Yeah, so Magic Mark's just kept his ERS on for the whole race. Unless they've done the thing where if you activate it in the formation lap, it gets stuck on. They're both going to be under threat by JJ Hudson here. <laughs> I tell you what, under ten percent. If Hudson can get a good enough run off this last co this hairpin, old Stevage could have him here because he got a very good traction. I'll be down to the ERL, the DRS, and the slipstream here. Here he comes. He's got the overspeed. It looks like he'll get past. Really, really. Run yet? Remember championship rival. That's an easy move, actually. Magic Mark's gonna come. Oh, the Mercedes are switching. Yeah, 
Adam's struggling Adam. for a grip at the minute. Yeah, I've just seen that. <laughs> I've just looked in the background and now Muddy's got a train behind him because obviously the mid and tie runners are getting more grip now. Hello, we could have split the Elf Boys. Um, oh, Muddy's. Muddy's within DRS range now. Yeah. We'll be going for an early stop, maybe. There we go. We've got, some, we've got a few people diving in. The pie, the pie in. That's there, as you're going to see this championship bar behind him. Medium to Hudson. Happen. It'll be medium to Hudson. It looks like it'll be. Imagine Mark's going aggressive. He's going for the source again. Both committing themselves to a two stop. One stop and two stop are very close, so it's really you come out from there early on. Right. And they've got tons of clean air because the field is so close. Oh, it's just going to get muddy here. Muddy is defenseless. Ooh, easy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Alright, going to get that fourth place off Mr. Muddy Biscuit. And Muddy Biscuit's going to slot in behind. This is not what Muddy Biscuit needs, he, need, he needs to make him progress up the field. Oh, got Red Bull's got a is that, your, is that your fellow sync member? Yes it is. Oh, he's yeah. oh. I don't know if there's been contact, because it'll look like there's a Renault very close as well. Yeah. Luffy goes running outside of Milan, now into 7th. And Hudson... H Hudson found himself off in Narnia there. <laughs> I think he made the move and then overshot the corner. <gasps> oh, these two need to make the most of this because if they can just tow each other along, they could easily jump these mid tire runners. This, meanwhile, it's all in the back of Mr. Adam, the pole sitter. I think I know what Muddy's going to try here. I think he's going to do the one stop. But I don't well, know. Soft mediums. He might try the soft medium, but he'll need to have very good tire management to make it work. Yeah, that's a bit risky. Soft to hard is probably the better strategy in my opinion. Or he's yeah. probably waiting for that safety car, trying to time it for perfection. Yeah, I reckon if there's a safety car in the next couple of laps, the medium tire runners will just throw their strategy out the window and go to the hards. Yeah, oh, he's gaining. Gaining. Will you make a dive? Will you make a dive? No, he sticks in behind. Think about that championship. We got a good run. Oh, he's not close enough. Come on, Muddy's fell out. Little Reaper's now on the attack. This is not helping Muddy's chance of winning the championship, I can tell you that. Oh, will he go for the dive? Oh, here we go. Stab by side. Muddy leaves space. Oh, Muddy wants to stay ahead. Oh, but Brutal Reaper's get her caught back. Here we go, side by side. Oh, he's had to get the throw, Muddy, to avoid contact. But now we're going to go side by side for the oh, double right hand. Side by side. Oh, side by side. Muddy Biscuit knows he needs to stay ahead. There's the only chance of winning the title tonight. Oh, yeah, I've also got some info as well. That Muddy actually oh, created for me. I, he put in the comms shot right earlier and he said if. Oh, Hardy's an early. He's going for another mm -hmm. set of mediums. He's covering off the oh, undercut. Oh, medium, medium softs. I think he's covering off the early undercut attempt from Magic Mark and Hudson. With Lucky also falling in, I reckon that'll be a set of hards. The set of hards for Lucky. But Hudson's flying, same as Magic Mark. It's going to be tight. What do you think? They've jumped him. They've jumped him. Oh. Oh. Oh, Magic Oh, he has. He's jumped him. Slide in between. Little Reaper is going to get past Moody Biscuit now. Moody Biscuit needs to dive into the pits. He's struggling out there. Surely. Will Moody fight this? Oh, he's still fighting, eh? Magic Man goes defensive go. very early as well. Oh, who's got the DRS? Woody oh. Biscuit does. Here we go. Now he's going to fight back. Oh, here we go. Around the outside. Can he pull it off? 
we get to the inside, Muddy Biscuit takes it outside, who's got better grip, who's got the better line? I can't see, it's Muddy Biscuit. Deal for oh, overtake. The alpha now. <laughs> That's a deal for overtake from Muddy. And then O'Hardy's shot past oh, Magic oh, Mark. Oh, Vipers! Oh, you mad man. Oh, that's a dive and a half. Oh my god. Oh no, surely you're not. Oh, okay. Not just losing time here. And we basically, he wants to stay ahead. He needs to stay ahead, really. Is that Stevie just in the pits? Well, be surely first. he's in the slap. Yeah. That's what's allowed Milan to like, get in with really, now. Well, he tries a lot with the mediums. Maybe he's gone for another set of mediums. Oh, when when he's went on, looks like he's stitching on the hard compound tyres. But he's going for the. Oh, he's trying mediums. it. He's trying it. Stevie just been jumped massively. Look how much time he's lost. Yeah, but Magic Mark is on the start, so we'll have to switch back to the mediums, which means he'll be on a slower tyre at the end. And we'll come back into Stevie's favour, maybe. Lands on the faster tires. I've all, I've, muddy bit not going to fight this, surely. I've got my info now. I found it just there. So, uh, this is what Muddy made for me in terms of the championship battle. Oh, here, before we do that, Hudson goes around there, it's a magic mark in the first chicane, well, the second chicane at the end of the first straight. And there we go, that. There we go. getting in, there we go. Inside or outside? Oh, thinks better of it. So the info I've got is, if Muddy Biscuit was to win this race with fastest slaps, oh, I'm butting in Milan. Round the outside, Muddy Biscuit. <laughs> oh no, what's happened? Oh my god, there we go. Oh, Muddy Biscuit loses it. Milan is now into tenth. Yep, sorry, you single word. <laughs> I think. Um, I, I've been told that if Muddy wins this race with fastest slap. Steerage needs fifth to tie it. Well, third, sorry, to tie it. And then if Muddy gets second with the fastest lap, Steerage needs sixth to match it. And then if Muddy gets just second, he gets Steerage needs sixth or seventh with the fastest lap. If Muddy comes third with the fastest lap, Steerage needs seventh. Or eighth with fastest lap, and then if Muddy finishes third, see which means eight to match it, and then Muddy gets fourth with fastest lap, see which means ninth or tenth with fastest lap. Oh, Venom's called it a night, and then yeah. if Muddy finishes fourth, Steve just needs tenth to match it. The championship is in Sturgis' hands. Here comes Michael and Brutal Reapers. The two used to be com teammates and now the rivals on track. Michael gets ahead. Oh, Hardy and it's is oh, I don't know how to say that name, sorry. <laughs> Go side by side. I'll be back in a minute. Yep. In the action. Magic Mark is gonna try and gain on Hutton on the soft tires. Meanwhile Brutal Reaper is gonna keep Michael honest. Back of the field, we have Lukey and Kima. Oh, they may be at the back, but this is going to be a fight for the 12th place. No points at stake here. Oh, we've got the top three, four in. What's that? It's going for. It's going for the sauce. Oh, what's happening? Oh, he's got to stop. You know, I like that. Michael's going for the sauce. It's interesting. Where's Adam going to join? Head of the Alpha. Behind Steerage. There we go. Just puts him all on the back of its Isa. E He's going to get this move done down the straight. Yes, he does. He's going to tuck him behind. He's not going to fight this surely. No, he's not. I think he's better off it. I'm back. Welcome back. We've just seen the top four pit. 
No, this is, I don't know, I don't even know who's like in the net lead at this rate. It looks like it's all hardy. I think it's between the Mercedes, Dirge and the Alphas somehow. Somehow the Alphas are in contention for the win. <laughs> Saying that, oh hardy is just controlling this race, never mind. Sorry, the Alphas are not in, in <laughs> the win. <laughs> So we've got O'Hardy net P1, net P2, and then Mike Martin P3. Steerage is currently winning the championship. Yeah. Right, let's read the let's read the chat real quick. Has Steerage got the ERS glitch? Yes. yes. So why are they going for a new set of mediums? The two stop, I believe, Mr. Alex. We might ask has gone purple in set three. So we got our Oh McClyman. Oh, Oh, there's oh, been contact. Stage. There's been contact with K Mag, I think, with Breezy. Well, I was stage for a second. <laughs> Would have threw a spanner in the works if it was. <laughs> oh, Adam, getting close to stage there. Speaking of stage, he's about to get overtaken. It looks like. All batches for Adam. This is <laughs> one a one man battle. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Breezy's went round again. Oh, he's gone again. I think his tires are overheat. I think that's what the issue is. Oh, keep it a straight line, Breezy. Oh. What's happened? Oh, he's all over the shop. Mainly the uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, really. Everyone else is in a league of their own. Oh, Adam. Adam. Watson, Watson, Adam both got penalties. Oh, Breeze is right around again. Oh, I think he's going to call it a day. It's all over. Magic Mark. He's pushing him through that final corner. Eight sets fast as well. He's not going to fight us, is he? Yes, he is. Side by side. Turn one. Yeah, better grip for Adam. Get some move done. We've got Ice in behind. He's going to try and follow pursuit. Oh, no. Not around the outside. Oh, my God. You madman. That's all. Oh, go on. Oh, surely not. Surely not. Don't do it. Oh, my God. There we go. Find the outside. Locks up. Move done. Oh, oh no, oh, Breezy again. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's a top safety car. Oh. I would just blast things up if that was a safety car. I'll clap that just in case because he did go. To, did he like re on board with them at the time or? No, it wasn't. Because it did look like his car just went straight on. So I'll clap it just in case. Yeah. Just in case they, f they get more evidence. Stevie just said. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, he's gone now, never mind. I was about to say, if I. Oh, yes, he lasted long enough, it could have been. Adam could have just pitted for a set of mediums to the end and have a pitch, near enough a pit stop. So Stevie. No. Hardy within half a lap again. Woody Biscuit near Zio, near Zio, I mean, it's serious to get a penalty really. At the moment, he's not going to get him on track. He needs a late save to come, that's what Muddy Biscuit needs. Or oh, he needs a BSD when he's pin, really. I just have to get Mark, he's got no EOS. Oh, yep, right. he's now into net P4. I don't know how he's going to P4 by starting at 11th, I think, or let's, let's have a look. There is now on the back of Magic Mark. He's going to be defensive, so Magic Mark is nothing he can do. We've got Milan. There is. It's going to get past him again. That's it's a like carbon copy movie. Has he done in the first thing? He could die bomb this. No, he's a bit of it. 
Now, Milan is next on Magic Mark's list. Oh, here we go. The exit. Let's shit Milan past him. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, don't do that, Milan. Oh, there you go, Magic, Magic Mark. Oh, he's hell? so. Oh, he's so. That's sent. a late. Oh, side by side. Milan's got a penalty. That was a late dive and a half, that was. But fair play to him. He stopped the car. Milan won't be happy though, he's got a penalty out after that. <laughs> How do you just decide to walk off into the oh, distance? Oh, Milan! Oh! Milan, steady yourself. Milan's getting frustrated behind Magic Mark. Oh, Magic Mark's in. I'll be a set me, I'll need to go set mediums as well. Yeah, he's got on the sauce. Or you could go for the four stop, not the three stop. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> Adam's now back on the JJ Hudson. These Mercedes are flying today. Mm hmm. Thank God Mercedes dominance for him this season. Oh. At least William got William's dominance next season. There we go. Adam gets past in third. We're back to square one, it's another Mercedes one too. We're Red Bull in third, not the first time I've seen this. <laughs> Alright, so 1.5 behind from getting a podium. Stigeon. Stigeon is a minute behind. I won't be surprised if he caught it very early. He's, he did make the motto, never give up. As you proved it before, he's a lap down one, some good points. If he does that, I will. I don't know. I get him in the party. Yeah, I'll get him in the party if he does that. Meanwhile, Michael's on the back of Money Biscuit. The penalty himself. Mr. Non Penalty are going to go at it. I'm surprised Money Biscuit's going the whole season without getting a single penalty. That's the only. I think he got one in Mexico. I think that's the only one he's really? got that season, yeah. But every other you track... You only get better. He got no penalties. I'm surprised he didn't get one at Wish Off. That's a hard track to get a penalty, not? I suppose... <laughs> yeah. But it's easier when you have rain in your race not oh, to get any. Oh, oh. <laughs> I still took a drift around that corner. I reckon he's gonna fly past Hudson here. Hudson's using the RS. No, he's not. No, he yeah. used it for a brief second. Oh, fire Hudson, Red Bull, come on. No. Oh. All low, back end top. Nah, Hudson will get the ERS. Not ERS, DRS, I mean. We ain't got the traction though. Not, yeah, he's gonna stay in behind, not using that ERS. Come to Michael himself using the DRS, using that DRS, using everything. We go for the dive. It's the last race of the season. Give us some close racing. Close enough. I also Ooh. forgot to. Oh, yellow flag. Is that stage thing? No, it's came like oh. Renault are having a decimal end to the season. What was it on? Was they, they always say? Yep. Michael's is all on the back of money this here we go. Plus he's at the US owner of Ice. What's the traction looking like? We've got laughing ties, this traction still fine for Michael's. Google's in. It's gonna be interesting to see where Magic Mark plays in this also because they'll get a massive undercut. What is the gap between Muddy? It's only about 5.5. .5. And Muddy, I think Muddy's going to try this one stopper. With the mediums. Oh, yeah, I didn't think. Oh. So that's what a spanner works. That's going to put a massive spanner in the works because Steerage will drop down having to get back through the field with his no ERS. I do know Muddy is good on his tyres. Oh, Muddy's beautiful on <laughs> his tyres. Taking them to the end is, is something else. 
subscribe what I said, Championship Fight is truly on. Unless, unless David just has to go to the end, we don't know. He'll need to play again, he started on the mediums. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, so, one of the isn't it? Some it early. strategical genius. Oh, that's just got, they're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Who, who does? The Mercedes, because they're also together on track. And they're obviously well. Adam's on the sauce, the boys on the mediums. They might end yeah, up. Sure, yeah, surely. Yeah. That's has to be team one of Unless. Nah, Alright, oh my god. Alright, could get a win here today. Let's see. But Harley's not using the OBS. Adam is. We send it to the inside. Stay them behind. You said we're going to end up bound from the pet stop. Ah, I don't think so, really. Yeah, true that. Well, Harley's just not. Just gave up. Yeah, Adam's got a penalty, doesn't he? So Harley's just going to sit in behind. <laughs> It'll be a bit of an L if Adam decides to pick this lap though. That would be disastrous. Especially if Ice piss as well. Yeah, because he'll get Michael gets fast, Muddy. But this is not this is not what Muddy needs. He yeah, need... but he might be going slow to save the tires, you don't know. Yeah, but he needs to like I... stay as close as he can to Stevage. Or they'll just it's all only come out. About seven seconds away. The pistol's like 22, 23 seconds, I think. I don't know. It's about a 20 second mark on this track. Oh, Adam stayed out and no Hardy's in. That's right. Michaels also dives in. Oh, this is. Oh, no, this not going to help um, Adam. He'll so get on the right. Yeah. So it's going to be a Mercedes 1 3 if Ice oh, comes out in clean air early. Muddy's got a, a bit. Got fast Luke approaching. Luke is Ooh, back this there. is going to be close. Luke, oh, it's, oh, it needs to get ahead. We oh, doesn't. He needs to get ahead to make this work. How hard? Muddy has six point four oh. seconds. Oh yeah, Luke and Arts are friends, aren't they? So he's just letting pass. Fair play for Luke there. And Luke is on 10 lap hold hard, so that's probably why. <laughs> no point fighting, just run your own race. <laughs> Stereo's on the back of Hudson. Come on, Hudson, you can fight this. Red Bull for the win, come on. Ooh. Stereo stays in behind. It's going to be interesting. If, if, anyone, if they're going to make a stop, they need to make it within the next two laps, really. Yeah. Has caps. Steerage pit, or will he go to the end? Who is, I don't know, who is the team person in the car? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure, it might be Bun. Adam's in the pits. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it is Bun. It? Wait. Oh, I think Steerage is going to the end. Steerage can or will get disqualified. Oh, yeah. What am I saying? I'm. Yeah. <laughs> not the, yeah, forget what I said. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> You're a bit yeah, tired. I'm not awake. I'm not awake today. <laughs> Did he start an immediate? Oh, I don't know, he did. to be honest. Okay, so he has to pit then. Hey, well, that could be perfect for Muddy. We've got Mr. Raffi Sprays in the chat. Imagine not winning this race last season. Could never be me. <laughs> there he's on the back of Hudson for the net base lead. Inside, outside, go go for the inside. Will Hudson fight this round the outside? No, he's not. He's going to sit in behind. And he's going to try and pick up the DOS for the next straight. Um, What's his traction looking like? 
Oh, he could get him again here. But I don't think he's going to fight it. Guys, yeah, he's him behind. Look at all he's at whole RDs already. Got 2.5 on Muddy. I could win this. It's a second down at Hardy now. Adam's on to mediums. Ah, uh, that's not going to help him. I, I think, think the race is between Heights and Hardy now. This could still play into the hands here of Muddy because Stevage will come out probably behind Brittle and Michael. Stevage needs to pick now nah, if he wants to make the ground up early. Surely it has to be in this lap, surely. No. Mm -hmm. Wait, has he forgot maybe? Are you sure he started on the mediums? I'm positive he started on the mediums. Just double, just double check real quick. Yep. Yeah, okay, so double medium. Do that off first banner in the works if he gets disqualified, get qualified, imagine. Off he <laughs> does mud. Big spanner in the works. Muddy only needs fourth thing. But he's all... Oh, <gasps> Hudson! Hudson's right! Hudson's right! Oh! <laughs> he's had a big bug tank or something. You're doing so well. Have the fattest tank slapper ever there and tried to save it. Oh, hot. Hardy's all red. Oh, this could. This might not. When St if Stevage doesn't pit, oh. Wait now. This could come down to the final lap. Purely. If Stevage doesn't pit. Any biscuit is fighting this. Oh, he's not. Oh, oh you don't need a spin now, Muddy. Good together. Ten. Flat ice food, flat ice food, Muddy. Yeah, just think that. Stevage will need to pit and come out back and use a lot anyway, so you could just. Let these lot all through. Think about the championship, Muddy. Oh, I just oh. gave him a punt. I just get one damage. Oh, Adam. oh that's gonna help. That's actually gonna help Muddy now, then. So, as it stands, still, that means Muddy's in a net P3. I don't well, know, I don't know how to do Muddy needs it. here's a safety car. Oh, is that Stigeon again? Stigeon again. Ah. Uh. To forget for Stigeon. Nope, Stevage hasn't forgot, he's in the pet lane. There we go. He's got some set of hards. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do that. Soft tyres, surely. Soft tyres? Yep. That's going to be drawing his question. I need to get my thing up. <laughs> Alright, Stevage, will you join inside? He's going to join. Davis joins 10th, Muddy's 3rd. So as it stands, Muddy Biscuit will win the F2 Championship. Well, in it. I need to have a look at this. A, yes. I believe it will. At the minute, he will. But where, two... where does Davis need to, need to come to win this championship? That's what I'm checking right third. now. Just third, he needs 8th. And he's only. F yeah. He'll right, get he's it. He's only a second behind. But now. Oh. Safety car. Oh no, Hudson's retired. Muddy and Adam are going at it. We're, so Muddy's fourth now. Now Steve John needs ninth. Steve John got a penalty, either, so he can. He I think to, it's uh, looking like it. Taken. Unless something happens to Steve Edge. It's going to be in Steve Edge's hands as championship is. Yep. You know, how's eyes going to race the? Oh my god. Wait, is it <laughs> what? Stop this man. What hacks are these? He's trying to secure that overall constructors. It's not you, looking yeah, likely. Think, yeah, most likely get done tomorrow probably. Yeah, obviously we'll have a double decider tomorrow, maybe even triple decider. <laughs> yeah, three championships can be won tomorrow. Imagine, wow. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. And land from the back of Luki. I had to spare that. Adam's overtaking Muddy with the damage. Yeah, Muddy's. And something. If one of these Mercedes on Alpha's spin. Oh, I think because Muddy knows he's got a penalty, he's just going to chill him behind. <gasps> I've just. That's good. You're so smart, you know, Hush. <laughs> I just realised that. Enjoy IQ, please. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, I've just realised how much pens everyone has, though. Michael oh, yeah. has 18 I forgot, seconds. I forgot about that. There you go, one penalty for you. 
Oh my god, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He didn't have any penalties on lap 6, so now he's got 18. <laughs> lap 25. But how many points does he need to outscore Sturridge? Murray Bickett needs to outscore Sturridge by 12 points to win the championship. He's going to win on count back because Sturridge has more wins. Bickett gets overtaken by Brill, but now what position would it be now if. Thing, what's his name? Stevie was to finish ninth. Um, David's, David's going to finish eighth. <laughs> he's, going to, he's going to finish sixth. Most likely, yeah. Is that seven? No, seven, maybe. Who's <laughs> got fastest like that could play? Big factor as well. That's Michael. Not for long, I think Terry's going to throw that away. What my biscuit needs here is a stage to have a half spin. It, it needs more than a spin, it needs to be blown up into a wall. That's the best way to put it. And if so, he has a chat. Basically, if something happens to David, maybe a retirement or uh, he gets crashed into. You got a flag? Who's that? Oh my god. It's Stedgen letting everyone through. Oh my god, I thought it was just serious for a second. That's what, basically, if something happens here between Steerage and Michael, Muddy's in the pen position because of the fact. My line's got a pen, so he just needs to hold the station there. Again, not mind much though, sitting behind. The whole train of, 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 like in front of Steer, so he's going to gain lots of points. There's not much money can do, really. I think the championship is going to Steer just as it stands. I think he might just hold station here, Steerage. Yeah, there's no need to take risks. Championship on the line. His <laughs> eights will somehow win. Mm. Yeah, no, he's fine. You fair. may, see, may see this guy in, in, F, in F1 next. Oh, he'll definitely be in, he'll be in F1. We don't know yet. Uh, no, he, will, he will be in F1, trust me. If he, if he decides you know, to call it quits after... Good, good point, good point. Point, good point. Adam's got another penalty. I'll have to hunt with you now. <laughs> it's, oh, it's gonna come... Wait. I... Muddy's like three seconds behind now, so that's gonna help him even oh, more. Oh god, I've just seen... Oh dear. I mean, I've just seen a train and a half behind Muddy. An ultimate lap now. Yeah. Oh wait, it's, it's all hard to do this strategy. I tend to mid and rush and just set back until the last lap. Not using the ERS, so I think he is. It will lead you to quite a lot of it, I just saved the whole name. So, hmm, never know. Gap to lead up, sure. But we there you go, Mr. Pross. Oh, Hardy, he's gonna. Magic Mark and Brutal Reapers. Well, I just realised Magic Mark and Steerage are close, and Magic Mark is Muddy Biscuit's teammate. Well, we maybe I'll let Bro Michael's pass, maybe to try Ooh. and hold them up. Strategy could come into play here. Yeah? Will Magic Mark hold up Steerage? Oh my god. But he needs to let Brutal and Lucky get over. He needs to get. I don't know. He needs to hold. He basically needs to go snail face. He needs to stay ahead until the third sector, then just hold up steerage, really. Steerage is jumping Michael, that I doubt. I don't think Michael's going to get any points today. <coughs> no, yeah, he will. He'll get a point. He'll, he'll get the, he'll, yeah, he'll get the... Oh, he'll, yeah, but oh, that just confirmed it for steerage, unless something happens. It's not over to the fat lady sings. That's a very good point. Oh, something happened. He's got. He's taking it very cautious. Oh, I'm on board with O'Hardy. Will he get the race race win today? Stage versus Alpha, like tomorrow it will be. And you also saw yeah. Williams in there. Getting so much on the breaking. This is his last chance really for O'Hardy to take the win. This trash is looking like ELS, BLS, Rich Mix, everything. 
we start close enough, will you make a massive dive bomb? Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! He pushes his eyes off the track! Oh, that's not. Oh my god. That is just confirmed items to win. Oh my god. Oh, get gents, gents, don't go three wide, you maniacs. Wait, what? Who's going three wide? Oh my god. What is happening back here? Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Carnage is the best way to see it. Going to ball over, over Hardy. He's going to take the win on track. But Ice is going to win on penalties. Oh, Hardy's going to cross the line to win on track, but Ice is going to take P1. Adam gets Adam another gonna pin. Cross the line. Oh no. Adam's going to cross the line in third, but that's not going to stick because Milan is going to. No, Milan won't no, jump in. Milan will get fourth. Muddy will get. Third. So now it's all on steroids. He needs eighth place. He's done it. Steroids is sick. Steroids is your F2 champion. Wait then. When in four sets. 37. Is it confirmed? Um, I'm just thinking right now. Um, what's that? So they got 37. Mercedes got. Yeah, there's definitely not over 21. So I goes to talk so tomorrow. Yeah. So the F2 championship been decided. Steroids is your F2 champion, and the overall constructors will go on to tomorrow. Muddy Biscuit came so close, but he couldn't get the win today. How much points was it? So it was a 11 point gap. Coming ah, into this there you go. Race. It's not the season finale without some donuts. There we go. It doesn't cover any parts, So it's... I would hate to be them tires right now on K-Mag. Wait, I'm just... I'm wait, um, so it's... There we go. So it came down to four points in the end. Between the two, top two. One more race, it would have been tight. Well, let's say we had, um... <laughs> if we had Saudi Arabia, we'll say that. As the penultimate round. <laughs> as that's supposed to be the penultimate round for next season. There you have it. Mr. Ites from outside the top 10 wins the race. O'Hardy in third, no O'Hardy in second with Moody Biscuit in third. I've got a feeling Moody Biscuit won't be happy <laughs> missing out by four points. Yeah. It must be heartbreaking for him. There you go. Only four people without a penalty. Do you want to get the top for you in Eastern? I'll go, yep. go over the, the results. So, Ike's win from 11th on the grid, put after two stop. O'Hardy in second. We'll also get champion. Oh, yeah. Wait, he does that. He goes. He does that might, does he? I'm not sure. I've never not really done F2 before. He may just, he may just do a one off because he's won the championship. Uh, Money Biscuit in third, missed out on the championship by four points. Milan in fourth, Mike Mark in fifth, your newly crowned F2 champion, Steerage in sixth, Adam in seventh, Brutal Reapers in eighth, Lukey ninth, Michaels tenth, it's Isaiza, I think that's how you say it, in eleventh, K Mag doing some donuts at the end in twelfth, Stage in thirteenth, and your DNS today are Hudson, Breezy, Venom, Pig, and Draco. There you go. Yeah, that was a good race. Very interesting. Very exciting. Yeah. Very everything. I want to know what percentage Muddy Biscuits tyres are at. That's what I want to know. <laughs> so do you want to do first and third, I'll do second? Oh! They're one in. Oh, oh no, it's your sights. No. <laughs> we'll just give it a couple more seconds or minutes. And send. <sighs> I 
glow in the start. I've got a feeling Mudvisk won't join today. I, th I don't think he'll be in the best of moods. Yeah, it must be hard for you to miss out on the championship by four points. Yeah. I think Ohio's got a mic, so he should join. They said he'll be on then. Okay. Do you want to do eights or do you want me to do eights while we wait for the others? Um, we can do, you can do eights since he finished first. Yeah, I will do this. So, uh, Mr. Eights, third place man championship this season. After joining a core base as late, you could have got the championship this season, maybe, but we don't know. Um, you started 11th, got the win. I don't know how you did it, but how was your race today? No, it was great. Uh, was it 11th I started or 12th? I can't remember which one because it was, uh, uh, it was 11th. 11th, that was it, yeah. It was uh, pretty mental. I just kind of took it easy on my way through the field and then just, uh, you know, kind of slapped up the pace a little bit on the softs and, uh, Tried to hold out for the winner. There was a little bit of a tangle on the last lap with Hardy, but um, I had to give the position back because I got a legal overtake when he kind of hit me. So, uh, but everything was all right in the end. But yeah, it was a bit of a mental race. Yeah, you started 11th and you somehow catch up to the Mercedes who were dominating that race. Um, you were with your teammate uh, very early on. Apparently, you uh, you were using each other to get out the field. Was that true? Um. Well, I said to him just before the race started, just to uh, you know try and stick with each other, really, um, just kind of make sure that we, you know, kind of work together to get through the field until, you know, anything kind of, just to make sure that we didn't have anything bad happening. Yeah, um, obviously you joined late this season. Do you think if you was in from the start of the season, you could have won the championship? Uh, yeah. I think obviously I, uh, I joined. Full time, I can't remember when it was, but my first race I was a reserve in Zandvoort. Um, so if I'd gone from the start of the season, and uh, there was a few races that I missed here and there, and a lot of the season I wasn't taking it too seriously because I wasn't kind of noticing that I could have kind of caught up. Uh, so if I kind of gone all out, then maybe I could have won it. Uh, but I think I think George Steerage has done a great job anyway. So uh, I'm not going to take any way, anything away from him. I think he's deserved the championship. Yeah, he really does. Um, I've got to ask you this, because uh, that was the last race of Season 3. Will you be joining us for Season 4 next season? Uh, I will indeed, as long as uh, the races are on a day which, uh, you know, kind of suit my work pattern. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, happy to come back next season. Very, very good, that is. We'll be happy to have you on the grid, so uh, see you next season, hopefully, if the days suit you. Cool, cheers. Thank you very much, guys. So over to you, Ethan, with Muddy Biscuit. So, Muddy, it was very unfortunate of missing out in the championship by four points. You drove an amazing race to get those tyres to the end. Just run us through your race, really. Yeah, qualifying, pretty much what I've been all season, 8th or ninth on the grid, and then race pretty much what I've been all season, 3rd, 4th and 5th, of that sort of area, so... Qualifying definitely sort of is what yeah I've got to be improving on next season. I think I've been average about three places low in qualifying in the race, so starting from seventh, I think somebody had a penalty. And then had a good actually good start off the line, almost jumped two people then got stuck around the outside, forced off right wider turn one and then fell back into seventh. Then pretty much I, I just knew from the start of the race I was gonna try a one stop, I knew I had a uh, steerage was likely to do a two stop, I had to do something different to him. To have any chance of winning the championship, so I just looked after my tyres quite well. Sort of lap nine or lap ten of the softs, they started to go off a bit, and I think I was battling with a racing point, which cost me a few seconds. Then the mediums actually felt really well uh, until about two or three laps to go, and they had the same issues, just sort of losing all grip. The deck wasn't very good around Abu Dhabi, and then I think. I got to the point where knowing I was going to do a one stop, I think everyone else did a two stop, I was just not battling them on the straights, knowing it was going to be a matter of holding as many people up at the end as I could and hoping for penalties, which I did luckily. Milan had three seconds, and I think uh, Hardy had 
or the other Mercedes had had six or nine seconds. So to get a podium in the end, I think it's only my seventh podium of the season. So to finish only four points off the championship with seven podiums, only two wins compared to what I think Steerage had about six or seven wins and about 12 or 13 podiums. So, yeah, I'm very happy to finish four points off the championship. I think if I'm kept in F2, I'm going to try and properly battle again next season for the championship. And if I get moved up to F1, then that'll be a completely different challenge. Yep, obviously. It was a very, very well-driven season. Every time I was in the comms box for F2, because it wasn't really often, you always pulled off very good strategies and very good results. So congrats on that. And if you do come to F1, you'll probably be seeing me and Hush on the track, which will be quite fun. Yeah, I'd like you to say. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, yeah, strategy this season has definitely been my strong point. I think wins in Canada and Hungary both have gotten via strategy and penalties and yeah, not getting a single corner cutting penalty all season has definitely been my strong point, I think. Today I actually picked up two warnings for the first time in about six or seven races, so yeah, the last few laps I know I knew uh, the cards had cut penalties, so I had to sort of, I think I got my second penalty on lap 27, so that last lap was just keeping it clean, knowing if I wanted any chance of trying for the championship, getting that third in the race, it had to keep it clean. Luckily I did, but yeah. Just wasn't enough steer, it was just too quick today. Yep, it was very well done from you. Obviously you struggled, as you said, the mediums did go off quite a lot to the end and you still held pace very well compared to the people around you, so congrats on that and hush try to rend out now. Yeah, um real question to Muddy. You are definitely staying next season, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here next season, yep. Racing in whichever division I'm putting. Okay. Good to know we'll have you on the good next season in F1 and F2. Hopefully not F3, that'll be too much. We'll both take F3 if I'm offered it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, today, that has been F2 today. Obviously, uh, unfortunately, of Primus, he couldn't finish his stream today because he wasn't going to enjoy this. But today, Steelers did win the F2 Championship by four points. Money Biscuit lost that by little margin. But next season, he'll probably try and get it. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, just go over the top three real quick before we bound off. First was RSF1i, second was O'Hardy, and third was Money Biscuit. Tomorrow, we have three championships to decide. We have the drivers, we have the constructors, we have the overall constructors for F3. That's going to be one to watch. I'll definitely be watching it. I believe it will be uh, Mr. Michaels and Ethan in the comms box. <laughs> Me again. Yep, so uh, join us tomorrow for the F3 Championships to be decided. We'll see you then.